Hello, first grade friends. In addition to making the actual American flag with the construction paper that we gave you and adding the pledge to it, I wanted to read this book. This is called The American Flag, and it gives you a little bit of history about the American flag, which I think is nice to have. So look, it has a table of contents like so many nonfiction books have in it. Okay, let me move this over. Okay, so a national symbol. Every country in the world has its own flag. A flag is an important symbol of a nation. A flag stands for a country's land and people. And um, it's really fun to, to learn about different flags. There are lots of f things on the internet you can find about this. Um, it's I've known kids who like, like to make the shapes out of Legos and they just like to make other flags. So maybe you can, maybe that's something you decide you want to explore a little more because it's very fun. The American flag is red, white, and blue. It has seven red stripes and six white stripes. It also has 50 white stars on a blue rectangle. And if you can remember what those are all for, um, I think I'm gonna remind you what they're for. Remember the red and white stripes are for the 13 colonies and the stars are for the 50 states. The first flags. At first, the United States was a group of 13 British colonies. The colonies had their own flags. The changed when the, that changed when the colonies joined to fight the Revolutionary War. That's the war that they fought to get independence from England, okay? An early flag carried by American soldiers during the Revolutionary War was red with a pine tree in the corner. So it looked like that. That almost reminds me of the California flag. The Grand Union flag was the earliest flag flown by the 13 colonies. The flag had a small British flag in the corner and 13 red and white stripes. So this here, if you just had this, that's the British flag. So they put that in the corner and then they did the 13 stripes for the uh, 13 colonies. In 1777, the Continental Congress passed, passed the first flag act. The law created a new flag with 13 stars and 13 stripes. You can see it here. It was in a circle with 13 stars. This is a funny one. This is you haven't this, this one you didn't see very much. The United States had grown to 15 states by 1792. The second flag act passed in 1794. It said that the flag should have 15 stripes and 15 stars. So here it is, and gosh, I don't think I've ever, ever seen one of those in real life. I don't think that lasted too long. Yeah, so 1818, so that was only, that was only 18 plus 8 is, what is that, 26? That's only 26 years, so it didn't last very long. In 1818, Congress passed the Third Flag Act. It said that the flag should have 13 stripes. Congress should also add stars as new states joined the United States. So then it was decided that the stars would represent the, the states. So here they had one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that was 36 stars. So that must have been 36 states at that time. The symbol today. People fly the American flag in many places. The flag flies outside post offices, government buildings, and schools. There's even a flag on the moon. Because we landed on the moon, so they put a flag on the moon. American flags are most often seen on national holidays, such as the 4th of July and Memorial Day. The flag reminds people to be proud of their country. And then we have a glossary. So I'm going to show you one more paper that I have. This is a, um, this is a Scholastic News from a long time ago. This says flat facts about five fun facts about our flag. Our flag didn't always look the same. So here it is in 1776 with the 13 stars in a circle and the th 13 stripes. This is that wacky one with 15 stripes and the 15 stars. Who knows where they got that from? Um, and then this is our current one. The first flag had 13 stars. It had one star for each of the 13 states. Over time, more states joined our country. We've now added a star every time. Now the flag has 50 stars for 50 states. This is who made the first flag. It's a mystery. Our country's first flag was made in 1776. Many people have said that a woman's name was Bess Betsy Ross who sewed it. This may be true, but no one knows for sure. There is definitely um, 
there's definitely a question about this. And this isn't a real picture of Betsy Ross. This is someone pretending to be Betsy Ross. Because when Betsy Ross apparently made the flag, there were no cameras. Number three, there are American flags on the moon. American astronauts have been to the moon six times over the years. Each time they have left an American flag there. Now there are six American flags on the moon. Oh, I didn't realize that. The moon has no wind. The bar on each flag holds the flag up. Oh, it makes the flag look like it's flying. Oh, there's a bar in there. I didn't ever realize that either. Learn something new every day. All right. Number four. There is a holiday for our flag. Flag Day is on June 14th. That is America's flag's, American flag's birthday. People go to parades and hang, hang lots of flags. They sing the national anthem. That is the song of our country. I can honestly say I've never been to a parade on Flag Day, but maybe that's just me. Okay, number five. The flag is a symbol of our country. When people see the flag, they think of the United States. People fly flags all over to show they love our country. Th these people at a football game made a giant flag together. Where have you seen a flag flying? Well, we've seen we've seen them at San Ramon, right? And if you, if you ever go into a Giants game, they'll bring a big... Um, big flag out on the field at the beginning of the Giants game. And in case you're, you can't see this closely enough, this is uh, this is Lambeau Field because this is the Green Bay Packers football field. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, friends, I hope you learned a little bit about flags. Um, it's kind of fun to, to learn about the flag and to understand its meaning. Maybe you want to start investigating some other flags in other countries and see what their meaning has because it's, it's, it's always an interesting thing. We also have um, a flag for California that has a bear on it, so you could check that out too. You might have seen that around town as well. All right, I hope you have a good day. See you later.